Hi everyone! Those of you who are familiar with my previous tutorials on running Blender on Google Colab will know what a fantastic service Google Colab is. Google provides a free GPU for up to 12 hours at a time for applications such as training deep learning models, data analytics, or in our case, rendering Blender scenes more quickly. I'm sure many of you have been using Google Colab to render your scenes for a while now and have occasionally run out of render time and had to wait a few days for the quota to reset. Today, I'm going to tell you about another free service you can use to render your Blender scenes. The website is called Kaggle. Kaggle is a fantastic service which hosts machine learning competitions, has an abundance of learning resources on machine learning, deep learning, data analytics and Python programming. One nice feature of Kaggle is the amazing number of open data sets for machine learning practice or for research. However, one feature it shares with Google Colab is that they provide a free GPU for training deep learning models. However, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use that GPU to render your Blender scenes for up to 42 hours a week. The code is very similar to my other tutorials so I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail. If you want more of an explanation please check out my previous tutorials on running Blender on Google Colab. They are equally applicable to Kaggle as they are to Google Colab. If you do find my tutorials helpful please show your support by buying me a coffee through the link in the description. Please leave a comment when you do buy me a coffee with suggestions for tutorials you would like to see. Your support helps me to continue making these tutorials for everyone. Anyway, let's get started. So once you've created a free account on Kaggle, press, press create and new notebook. This will look very similar to Google Colab. I'm just going to change the notebook name to Blender GPU. Over here, make sure under Accelerator you've selected GPU so that you use the GPU. You can see here availability is limited to 42 hours a week and you can see I have 41 hours remaining for this week. So press turn on GPU. You can see it's setting up the notebook. You just wait a few seconds for that. You can see I've got Python selected as my language. You can see the session is starting. Just give it a few more seconds. Okay, so we're getting some more details here. You can see my notebook resources here, and you can see green, so it means my session has started. So if I click on here, you can see CPU usage, GPU usage, GPU memory. You can see my GPU quota, I've already used 57 minutes of my 42 hours for this week. I've got the Python programming language selected and here is my working directory where I render out my files, download the Blender files. So don't worry about this first step here. So I'm just downloading the Barcelona demo scene from the Blender website here just to show this code. So it's just the same wget command that you'd be familiar with from my previous tutorials and you can see it's going to take about six seconds to download. And now that's finished and you can see it saved it to my working directory here if I just refresh it. So you can see the zip file here. So I'm now just going to unzip this zip file here. I can press copy file path here and paste it in here and it's pasted the path for that zip file. Now if I run it it unzips the whole directory structure and if I refresh again you can see it's got the two folders here from the zip file and inside this 3d folder you can see I've got my blender file so I just press copy path again for that so I can use it later the next step is to download blender I'm downloading the blender version 3 beta and I'm going to unzip it and these are just the same commands that I've used previously on Google Colab and you can see it started downloading and then just give that a few minutes okay so you can see blender's been downloaded and if i refresh my directory structure here you can see it's also unzipped the blender zip file so here i'm just going to select the file name for my blender my blender scene Blender file stored in the 3D subfolder and you can just refresh the directory structure here. Once you've typed your file path just run the this line of code here. 
Then the last step is just to run Blender in the same way we've done on Google Colab. And you can see it started rendering. And then we'll just give that a few minutes to finish. And that's now finished rendering. Let's scroll down to the bottom and you can see it's saved it to my Kaggle working directory and it's called it 0001.jpg. So if I go over here to my working directory and press the refresh button, you can see I've got my JPEG here. And you can press these three dots and press download and load it up. And there you have it. There's the Barcelona Pavilion demo scene from the Blender website. You can run this command here and it will show you the details of the GPU that you're using. So you can see we're using a Tesla P100. Has about 16 gigabytes of RAM available. And here's the details about the CUDA versions. If you do want to upload your own Blender scene, you can press the Add Data button and you've got a variety of options. So you can do Google Cloud, you can use GitHub, Remote Files for a URL, or you can just drop and drag files here. So I'm just going to upload a Blender scene that I've made, it's just the default cube. You can see I've uploaded it, you need to enter a data set name. Make sure you leave it on private here. Press create. And that'll upload your Blender scene to Kaggle. You can see it was successful. Now you can see here on the right hand side, once it's finished, in the input directory here, you can see I've got a Blender folder and you can see my blendtest.blend file. So I can press copy file path, paste it down here in the file name section and you can see it's got input blender, blender test.blend, and that's the file that it's going to render now. So if I run that cell, and then if I run this bottom cell again, I'm just going to change the output directory and run it, and you can see it's rendering my test blender scene. And it's finished, and it's saved to my Kaggle working directory, and it's called test0001.png. And if I download this and open it up, you can see I've got my default cube. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more useful Blender tips. See you next time.